What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Ray to the Wood here, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Bleach Ray Souls. But today, we're going to be looking at the news, guys. So, the K-Lab live stream took place this morning. Uh, the Japanese K-Lab live stream, of course. And uh, they're always a little ahead, so they post stuff more frequently than the K-Lab news station, the global version, just because, like I said, they're almost a day ahead. They're like... 12 hours ahead uh, for the news station and it's just a lot easier and faster to get news so I'm sure K-Lab tonight on their K-Lab game station will discuss in detail and in English more further for this but for all you guys who want to know the exclusive and want to know what's to come and a little update whether or not you should if you're going to miss anything if you can't make it to the K-Lab game station tonight or whatever I'm going to try to cover it as best as I can for you guys so first off um, we're all getting a new swimsuit banner coming soon and it is um, Byakuya Nell and Retsu. So as you know, Byakuya and Retsu are both old. They came out last year, the swimsuits. There's nothing too special about them. You know, they're just like kind of basic characters. Retsu is a 25 um, uh, healing link between quests. So that's pretty unique. Um, but baby girl Nell is there and she is a beast. I have Nell at level 200 and I can honestly say she's one of the best purple characters in the game. She's like a purple recharge beauty. She has so much SP. Uh, insane attacks, Vortex that does burn damage, and a really powerful ultimate. She is one of the top tier characters right now, which is... I never thought I would say for a swimsuit character, but she is honestly amazing. So I would definitely, definitely try for this banner if you don't have Nell. Uh, and if you do, then I would definitely save because Byakuya and Retsu definitely are not worth it, guys. So, next on the list, we have an Espada... Uh, a, bo uh, a night mode mode coming I was gonna say boss boss rush but night mode mode is coming and uh, what's way better about night mode mode than boss rush is nightmare mode um, just so you guys know I say night mode mode as a joke it's just a meme um, the reason why nightmare mode is better in my opinion is because uh, the drop so it gives you a four star ticket which is and eh, nothing too special but it gives you a lot of brave souls tickets um, and it gives you a um, excess four star accessory ticket, which is amazing. I love those four star accessory tickets. I really want a gold chappy on JP so badly. I always see people tweet at me with gold chappies or getting a gold chappy, and I just want one on my JP just to say I have one. I have one on global, but somehow JP doesn't have one. So hopefully, we can get a gold chappy um, from this ticket. So, uh, boss rush, uh, come or night nightmare mode coming soon, guys. And if you guys want me to do a challenge for the nightmare mode, let me know, and uh, I could do that. So uh, next, we're going to get into the more bigger update. So 5.2 is just around the corner, guys. And um, we have some cool stuff coming. So as you can see on the Hack for Hack screen right now, uh, Caleb has 33,000 orbs, which kind of makes me laugh. But, uh, you know, they bought the, the 33,000 Hack for Hack pack. It, it's okay. You know, I always hook up the boys, Caleb, because they always hook me up. So 33K Hack for Hack pack, easy, easy peasy cake. Um, for four short payments of 49.95. So, um... As you guys can see, there's an option that says auto okay in the co-op room. Uh, this is talking about the auto co-op. I, I know you all know about this. They, they talked about adding this a while ago, but they're finally implementing it in the next update. Showing pictures means it's coming very soon, guys. In the next update, whenever that might be, they'll tell you guys on the K-Lab station tonight. This is all in Japanese, so I'm a little unfamiliar. I don't watch other people's news videos or whatever. This is just all for me watching the stream. And honestly, can't even lie a little bit from the Reddit. Shout out to the Reddit. Um, they're just so fast with their updates, and I'm going to post the link to the description. I'm not using it now, but I mean, for some stuff, I'm going to be checking out the Reddit just in case I miss anything. So, thanks to them, I'll leave a full post for the update in the description. Um, so, as you guys can see, uh, there's also a chat button at the top where you can uh, pick which... Um, which type of chat you would like to use for that co-op. So it's pretty cool. You can switch out the options like I need healing, or this, and use my special, blah, blah, you sorry, thanks. You, you know what I mean? A boot, whatever. I know it's about but this Canadian. People think I say a boot. I know I say sorry, and it's supposed to be sorry. I don't... I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, so that is uh, Super Cup. That's how you know... Um, I said Super Cup. That's how you know it'll be okay to auto if it says auto okay. Um, next, you'll see from the host's perspective... Um, I'm, why do I say um so much? You'll see from the host's perspective the choice between on and off for the auto button. You'll also see what attribute. You'll see the level cap. You'll see um, the ranking. I think you could do PvP rankings just so you don't get any of those new level 200 noobs who don't know what they're doing and they join your extreme co-op and that you just lose every time. Anyways, and uh, you could also select the... Uh, st uh, status ailment whatever that you have on there, which is pretty cool. I'm really excited for auto -co It's gonna make powder farming so much easier It's gonna be amazing. So as you can see 
um, a little screenshot of in-game, it's there's an auto button right there in the corner right next to baby boy's head. And also at the top there, you can see Grim Zhao is on auto. So it tells you when the person is on auto, which is good. So you don't think they're just terrible players, they're just autoing, which is really good. And I'm sure it's gonna be easy to auto some um, some powders. And especially where there's four people, you'll take uh, your best characters, even not even your best characters, you can still beat it easily. So auto, auto co-op is the future, guys, and I'm super excited for it. I can't wait for that to come out. Um, next, as you guys can see, after the co-op, it'll show all three of your partners. Uh, of course, now there's only one because you only took one person with him on the quest. But as you can see, it'll show all three of your partners. And there will be a blue box next to the name. And if you click that, it will send them a friend request, guys. As long as their friend list is not full, and as long as your friends list is not full, you could send them a friend request, which is very cool. Because uh, I'm sure a lot of people want to add somebody through co-op and do more calls with them and just... Have them as a friend, but can't because they can't end up finding their name. I mean, you could always Google. I mean, you could always uh, not Google, but search for the person's name if you remember it after. But this is just a lot easier. Saves you guys a lot of time. And honestly, it's a very cool option. Very cool option. Um, so next, this one I'm so excited for, guys. This one is like a blessing in disguise. So Caleb added a fourth tab in the gift box. Okay, so as you guys do know now, there's, there's the rewards. Um... So from like any type of quest, there's your gifts, then there's the one gift for soul tickets only, and then there's one gift for um, for uh, cone cone points, right? So which is, which is pretty cool. But they finally added a fourth one for character drops from events or from uh, raids or whatever it may be, which is unbelievable. You guys might think it's not a big deal, but I know a lot of you guys have had that issue where you're, you're doing a point event or a lottery event and you get so many of those damn three or two stars from the lottery spin and you want to collect your rewards, but you don't want to collect the characters and you end up collecting all and your inventory fills up quick. Then you have to go into your uh, character list and clear out a bunch of useless characters, collect more gifts, clear out a bunch more characters. It's just a hassle and sometimes you don't want to collect all the characters. You want to just collect your gifts, your jewels, your orbs and not the characters so you have to manually select it it's a pain man. it really is a pain so this is adding so that um, you don't ever have to go through that again if you want to collect the characters you can if you want to collect your gifts you can they're completely separate things and I'm a huge fan of this I was so hyped when I saw it I was like damn this is a great update from Caleb like this is like something so small that makes such a big difference um, and just saves a lot of time so thank you Caleb that was a great idea whoever on the team thought about that you're a genius I would give you a hug if I could okay so next um, as you guys can see, this is also a huge issue and it's so small, but it's so big in the long run is when you, uh, is when you, um, accidentally collect your soul tickets, guys, collecting your soul tickets is something we've all at least done once. I've collected almost 250 at once by accident and I had to burn through them. I know people who have collected hundreds. Some people have collected dozens. It's it's a pain. It's because you click it by accident. You're scrolling through. You're trying to collect something else. You end up clicking tickets. You click OK and done. But now there's a confirmation screen that says, are you sure you want to proceed with this uh, collecting all your gifts or no? So you click red for no or uh, or blue for OK, which is perfect. Just an extra confirmation just to make sure that you don't mess up on purpose. And that's just, like I said, such a small little detail that makes such a big difference, guys. So Caleb, you are absolutely killing it. And that is just such a great feature so also i've got to mention this i added this the last update where they talked about adding it is that now um i believe they added it actually because i started a new account just to see and it does work so you can automatically um you automatically have the ability to skip specials now it's just it's a default setting there's no setting whether you want to turn it on and off it's just off there's no more setting for skipping specials automatically off now and uh some people are like oh but what if i want to see the special Bruh, don't click your screen. I. What? How do people think sometimes? Oh, but what if I want to see? What if I don't want to skip my special? Don't click your screen, bro. It won't skip. I. Je comprends pas qu'est-ce qui se passe quand les personnes parlent. Je ne sais pas. Like it just doesn't make sense to me, guys. Okay, so like I said, that's pretty cool. No, no more of those long. I mean, unless you choose not to skip it, which is fine. But no more of those. Uh, BS, oh, I can skip a special because I've done the same thing before and it, it's all happened to everybody. So uh, I think this is last but not least, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, so last but not least, they're bringing back a frenzy raid for next month and it's going to be Ukior, guys. And Ukior is a great raid character. I forgot his passive. <laughs> okay, so never mind. I, I take it back. He's not the greatest, 
Link. Um, but he's still a cool character just to have to have the Musialago form. He looks so badass. I'm just looking at him right now. But he is 9% dodge, 18% strong attack, which kind of sucks. In all honesty, it's not the greatest thing. Uh, there has been better, but uh, it's okay. Um, also, they added uh, six star skill percentage uh, on the side of your character when you click on his info. And they also are improving uh, five star accessories to where you can't reroll SP on a Chappie and you can't reroll focus on a dog and a duck dispenser. Ah, thank God. Thank you, K Lab. That's a great update. That is fantastic news. And I'm super excited for this to come out and just to. Uh, have it all finally on the game guys small little changes that are making the game what it is today guys so thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoy if i missed anything um somebody else will cover it and or you will see it on the k-lab news station tonight at 11 p.m uh, est time for me um i don't know your time zones but it's 11 o'clock for me so i hope to see you guys there i'll be in chat love you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next one peace Bunkai.